Welcome back to our Algebra 2, Expression Functions, Lesson Number 8, Instruction Logs, Home Review, Part 2. And uh, this time, we're going to be trying to find the value of each of these logs. And um, as they continue to get a little more challenging. So uh, if you haven't watched Part 1, give it a look. Uh, we have our form shown of how to convert from log to exponential and exponential log, which we'll see here, and how to evaluate. So. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start with number five. So we have log, we're going to set all of them equal to n. So n equal to n, equal to n, and equal to n. Now, the reason we do this null is that this same n, which we call log base 2 of 32, will be found by converting each of these log equations now into exponential equations. And so we know our form for an exponential equation is going to be from log. We have log base b of x equals y now becomes b to the y is equal to x. So all we're really doing now is converting the, each of these into exponential form. So now we have the base is 2 to the nth power equals 32. Now, 32 can be rewritten as a, as a base of 2. So if 2 to the n is equal to 2 to the 5th power, our n value is equal to 5, which is exactly what the log function is equal to. So log base 32 is equal to 5. Repeat this for each of this, each of this here. 7 to the n equals 49, 7 to the n equals 7 squared, n is equal to 2. Again, we're rewriting our log function into an exponential function. So for b, log base 7 to 49 equals 2. Now for c, same thing. Again, our base is 3. Our exponent will be n. Remember, logs are exponents. That's really the key thing. Remember that if you ever forget what log is, it's really an exponent in the exponential equation. And so we have here 6,561. Okay, so this is a little bit more tricky, all right? So here we're going to do a little guess and check here. Let me pull up my calculator. All right, so let's take a look. Let's take 3 to the, let's say the 6 power. Oops, not 36, sorry. 3 to the 6 power. 3 to the 6th power is 729. Oh, that's too small. Let's take 3 to the 7th power. Oh, not, not big enough. 3 raised to the 8th power. There you go. So we got 6,561 is 3 to the 8th. So we convert this to 3 to the n equals 3 to the 8th. Our answer for this one is going to be 8. And then finally, for this one here, we have 4 to the n equals 1,024. And again, we'll use our calculator to find this note. <clears throat> We're looking for 4 raised to power, uh, to a particular power is equal to 1,024. So we'll take 4 raised to the, let's say 4 to the 5th power. Oh, got it right in the first try. Got it in the first try. There you go. So we have 4 to the n equals 4 to the 5th, n is equal to 5. And so the key here is to, to, to evaluate for, for our logs, we want to convert. Convert into exponential functions. Exponential equations, actually. And then set basis equal to each other. All right? And then solve for solve for n, the exponent. Oh. 
okay? Number six, pretty much very similar to what we did number five, except they're medium level, a little more challenging. So again, I'll put down here, log base b of x equals y is the same as b to the y equals x. And so we'll set this equal to n, we'll set this equal to n, we'll set this equal to n, and we'll set this equal to n. Okay. All right. So if the base is 2, we'll have 2. Oops. We'll use the same color. 2. X1 is n because it matches up with the y. Equals 1 over 64. Okay. Now, if you remember, we have talked about how 1 over 64 really is. 64 to the negative first power. And we want to now set these bases equal to each other. So 1, 64 is base 2. So 64 is base 2 is going to be 2 to the 6th power, I believe. Just to, So 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So that's 2 to the 6th six, six, six power. So 2 to the n equals 2 to the 6 raised to the negative 1 is equal to 2 to the negative 6. And therefore, we set n equal to negative 6. So here, our answer is n equals negative 6. We do the same thing for b. The base is 3. Our exponent, you know, matches up with y is n. So it's 3 to the n power equals 1. Now, here's the funny thing, though, OK? Any number raised to zero power except for zero is equal to one. So that's why those things you have to remember. That's why it's a little more tricky. It's more of remembering our law, our our rules for solving exponential equations. C. Our base is five. Our exponent's n, and we have one over twenty-five. We had just talked about the idea that one over twenty-five can be expressed as 25 to negative 1. And that's the same thing as, well, 25, 25 is 5 squared, so we have 5 to the n equals 5 squared to negative 1, or 5 to the n equals 5 to the negative 2. Therefore, n is equal to negative 2. So our log value is negative 2 for c. <coughs> And finally, for D, our base is 7, our exponent's n, and it's equal to the value here of 1 over 343. Again, this is the same as 7 to the n equals 343 to the negative 1. And now, three, 7 times 7 is 49. Okay, so 49 times 7 is 343, so 7 to the third power. So we have 7 to the third, raise the negative 1, 7 to the n power equals 7 to negative 3. Our, x, our value of n is equal to negative 3 in this situation. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is where we're going to stop, and uh, this will be the end of our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions, Lesson Number 8, Introduction to Logs, Hulk Review, Part 2. Uh, make sure again to watch Part 1, and make sure to watch the upcoming video, Part 3, where we take it to the, the more challenging problems of the, diff the, the difficult level. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications when new videos are added, so just to... Just to know, you know, make keep updated with the, what we have here. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please add add them in the chat uh, in the little 
comment section below. Look forward to hearing any comments you have with the video if I can hopefully make it better for you guys. All right. Thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Take care and be safe.